In today's episode on the Beginner's Guide to Video Editing in Premiere Pro, you're going to learn how to add and use effects in Premiere Pro to spice up your videos. Also, you're going to learn how to save those effects as presets to use them in the future. So, without much further to do, let's dive right into the video. In Premiere Pro, I'm going to show you how to add some basic effects. What we're going to be creating is a glitch animation. First, let's talk about the effects panel. So we have the effects panel here where every effect that you want to use in Premiere Pro is located. And if you can't find this effects panel, you can go to window, then you'll find all of the panels that you need. You just need to click on the one that you need to activate. To create a glitch animation, I'm going to first duplicate this clip by holding the option key that's on Mac or the Alt key on Windows and drag this up to duplicate it. Go under the effects panel, then search stroke and you'll see the strobe light, double click to add it, or you can just drag and drop it onto it. Move to the beginning of my timeline, then under the effects controls, I'm going to locate that effect that which I've added. And for the strobe duration, I'm going to set this to 0 0.1. And for the strobe period, that's in the time, I'm going to set this to 1, or I'm going to allow it to 1 seconds. Now, I'm going to set the first keyframe for the random strobe probability, then move to the end of the clip, and set in the second keyframe with a value of 100%. And after doing this, you're going to have something similar to this. Just a white light blinking to the screen. And we are going to make use of this. I'm going to go up here, then search VR Chroma, then add it to the clip. And you can see it gives the glitch looking effect. And when I play this, you just want the white color to be shown or visible. So to take that out, I'm going to come up here still under the strobe light. I'm going to change this strobe and set it to makes layer transparent. And when I play this one more time, here we're going to see. So this is perfect. And we can take this even further by going up to still under the effects panel. I'm going to search black and white. Add it to the clip. And under the effect controls, I'm going to move this black and white in between the VR chromatic vibrations and the strobe light. So it is in between these two effects. And that's how you can easily add effects in Premiere Pro and manipulate them. And also take note of the keyframes. You can take you can take advantage of these very well. And in the next effect which I'm going to create, which is a transition, I'm going to show you how to use the keyframes handles to create some smooth type of animations. So stay tuned for that. Let's create an easy slide animation from this clip into this clip. And there are some settings that you need to keep right in order for you to have this type of effect. Your sequence settings should be set to 1920 by 1080 because this is what we are going to be using throughout every resolution. We are going to use adjustment layers to create this animation. I'm going to click on these, then go to adjustment layer, and you can see it has to be set to 1920 by 1080. Also, the clips that I'm using are 1920 by 1080. All of your resolution should be the same. Be your adjustment layer, your clips, and your sequence. I'm going to bring this up and position it somewhere around here. So position my playhead in between the two clips, hold the shift key, then press the left arrow key to move 5 frames, do it again, that's 3 times, that's I've moved 15 frames to the left, then I'll cut this out and cut this here. So I need just this little portion in between. With the adjustment layer selected, I'm going to add some effects to it. And the first effect I'm going to add is the replicate effect. And I'm going to allow the counts to 2. Next, we have the offset effect, double click to add that to. And for the offset effect, you can see the shift center is set to 19, is set to 960 by 540. This is 1920 divided by 2, and this is 1080 divided by 2. And again, we are going to take this 540 and divide it by 2. And to do the math correctly, we are going to have 270. Next, we have the mirror effect. And for the mirror effect, I'm going to divide this by 2. So I'll have 960. And for the reflection angle, I'm going to set this to 100. Next, I'm going to add the transform effect. And for the transform effect, I'm going to set the scale to 200. Set the first keyframe for the position, move to the end, and set the second keyframe. And for the second keyframe, I'm going to set this value to 0. Select the two keyframes, right click, then go down to temporal interpolation and BZM. Open this up so that we can see these handles, like Ella said. And to make this animation to be more smooth, I'm going to bring this handle downward around here and inwardly, like so. 
If everything is done correctly, we are going to have something like this. I'm going to duplicate this effect by selecting it, holding down the Option key and bringing it to the right. I'm going to extend this by 10 frames. So I'm going to position my playhead at the end while holding Shift, press the right arrow key twice to move 10 frames ahead, then extend this to that position. Then I'll move down to the transform effect, set another keyframe for the position. And for this second keyframe, or this keyframe at the center, I'm going to set this value to 50. Then for these handles, I'm going to move this so, and then this other handle, I'm going to bring it here. And one other thing that I forgot to do was to uncheck this use composition shooter angle and set this to 360. So I'm going to go back to this other adjustment layer and do the same thing. Uncheck this, then set this to 360. I think that's everything we need to create a slight transition in Premiere Pro. And don't worry about this line that you see. When you export your final video, those lines won't be there. You can see in this sample that I've exported, you won't find a line. It's just Premiere Pro doing its thing. Now let's save this transition so we can easily use in the future. I'm going to select this first adjustment layer. Then while holding the command key that's on the Mac or the control key on Windows, I'm going to select the replicate, offset, mirror, and transform effect. Right click on them, then save preset. So I can call this slight transition and OK. Under the effects panel, I can find the slight transition. Pretty easy. So all you need to do is just to drag and drop and you will find everything here. Hope you found the video useful and interesting. I recently created a video editors community where we can share ideas and learn from one another. So if you're interested in that, you can join the community by clicking on a link down in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to support the channel grow. Thanks for watching and until the next one, keep editing.